you can clearly see that both blocks go to the exact same height, even though one is rotating. And that's a bit strange because they were both hit by the same type of bullet from the same rifle, so presumably it had the same kinetic energy. And they both go to the same height, so they both have the same gravitational potential energy, but one is rotating. And so it has that additional rotational energy. So one block has more energy than the other block. Let's look closely where this energy comes from. In the first experiment, the bullet hits the target in the middle. Kinetic energy of the bullet is decomposed into kinetic energy of the block and energy absorbed by the block deformation. In the second experiment, the bullet hitting the block also generates spinning energy. Thus, we have three components from the energy decomposition, but initial energy of the bullets is the same. It is clear from the experiment that the energy moving the blocks upwards is also the same. Hence, we can remove it out of the equation. So there is no additional energy created in the second experiment. The spinning momentum is a result of lesser distraction of the block. My guess if you compare both blocks afterwards, you will see that second one is less damaged.